Chin's gonna react when she figures out we're getting the hammer online. Again. Sound of a tool shift that are thinking a bit. Obviously, no thanks to me. Meanwhile, I often wonder who stuffed that gigantic stick up her ass. <laughs> no comment from Captain Phoenix on that one. Paddock, Baird. We're heading into the training facility for the beacons. Good to know. We're standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple, when the COG also runs the newspapers. When historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. We can all agree on that one. Well, guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The COG happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cop? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could work my ethnicity into the discussion. Thanks for that. Okay, Paddock. We're here. Listen. During our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Fakes in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby's security office. <laughs> There's our security terminal. Just need a way for Jack to access it. Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facilities activating, Delta. See? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the centrifuge. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. Hey, out there. That must be the other condor Baird lost. We'll search it if we get the chance. But finding those beacons is our priority. Yeah. Agreed. Got a safe for you, Jack. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. Haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. We panic civil war in the weather. They crawled in anywhere.
Oh, you called it! Look who's here! You got a sign on! Hey, it's got a bastard! Run! Put these assholes down! Spot. Appreciate that. On me, up here. So, all the exits are blocked, now what? Didn't work. And then we try another one. You got it. Well, let's hope this one holds. Jack, let's do it again.
Get in there, Jack. Can you hurry? Beacons. Let's check the security cameras. Well, look who is. Oh shit, more of them. Guys, look. Beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the arm around, as well. still works. But it's not slowing down. Oi, fuck! What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man! Jack's not a miracle worker! What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls at the base. What the 
hell? Why isn't this stopping? The brakes might be toast. I don't know. We'll have to discuss that later. Swarm! I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Afira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll carry it to the skiff. <clears throat> well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. Time to get out of here. You know, Paddock sent the folks out here. We should probably clear out the rest of the school. He's lost enough people today. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not gonna be much use in a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me, mate. Okay, let's go. JD, you good? Yeah, just lead the way. Well, storms no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. We got swarms, people! Get behind those sand last thing! They're called Boga Right! Yeah, tomato, tomato! They're called Boga Right! Yeah, tomato, tomato!
Let's get inside! This will work. The door's welded shut! Jack, rip the door and hurry! Surprising no one! We got more swarm coming in! Then we hold them off! Today. JD, how's the beacon? Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fate of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's dying. Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. Know something, Kate? I'm pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the corporal with compliments, we should decide whether we're headed straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh man, sand and engine assault. Fortunately, it doesn't happen often. So there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. 
So, why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the Cog border? Vasgari technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. So are Paddock's nomads up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Baird trusts Paddock, we trust Baird. It's all about the transit of property, we trust Paddock's nomads. The tr trans of transitive war? Books, Faz. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. Now, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Or three. 